Open back in 2003. Have a look at the link. Lincoln Financial Field, where 70,000 are rocking and ready to go in Philadelphia. Just a short time ago, these Philly fans in full roar as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. Pyrotechnics ablaze. They're set to go as their Eagles will match up. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line with the Kansas City Chiefs. And now here comes Kansas City. First carry for Le'Veon Bell. He works his way forward for a couple up past the 30. Le'Veon Bell, the ball carrier. Yeah, that wasn't a big run, just a short one there. But guess what? Sometimes you treat it like boxing. You throw that jab out there, and you throw it again, you throw it again, then you come with a big punch later. Maybe they're just trying to set him up. Here's a four-receiver look now. Three of those guys out to the right side on second and eight. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. Gets this one to Hill. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. The reception good for seven. It's third down. I think defensively you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, now you put the offense in a position where every series they have to work hard to pick up first downs and you tend to stall them out when you do that. First down. It's interesting because when I'm watching college football and I'm evaluating guys for the draft now, my list of fullbacks, pure fullbacks, it's a very short list. I'm probably evaluating more punters and kickers now than I am fullbacks, but it doesn't matter what you call the position, it's who you put there, and there we saw completion. Mahomes firing complete. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Robinson. It's a gain of five, brings up second and five at the 47-yard line. Mahomes to throw once more. It's caught inside the 25. Mahomes. And he is taken down deep in Philadelphia territory. A gain of 33 yards that time. Execution was one of their watchwords leading up to this one. And on that play, able to execute brilliantly here on this opening drive. So a big play as it gets him all the way down to the 20 now for first and 10. Operating from the red zone now, Mahomes. Flush to his right. Able to make something out of nothing there. 17 yards and a first down. Now it appears we've got a Chief moving pretty gingerly down there. While the training staff works on him, we'll step aside and be right back. A terrific opening drive has them knocking on the door, first and goal. From the gun, it's Mahomes. He's got it. Touchdown, Chiefs. Demarcus Robinson there to make the grab. And the Chiefs take it right down and score on the opening drive. On paper coming in, you'd say that these guys are the better team by far, and they sort of showed their superiority there on the opening drive. Yeah, they came in the heavy favorite in this game, and even though they're on the road, they just still got just wiped it away, didn't they? They've just said to everyone, we're the better team. We just showed it to you on this opening drive, and we expect to do it all game long.
Harrison Butker. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 20 yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Philadelphia getting set to take the field. Their own 23 yard line. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 23. From the gun, it's Hurts. And complete to Zach Hurts. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. 16 yards right off the bat and a first down. Good job there to locate his tight end, Charles, in the middle of the field. He has good pass catching abilities, and if they're able to continue to find him here in the early going, I think it'll help out his teammates out on the perimeter. You can take the big shots later if he occupies their attention. Now this one to his tight end out on the right side. And he'll be out of bounds up near the 45 at the 44. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. We'll see what kind of mindset they have here offensively after giving up the touchdown on the opening drive. And based on our time with them, you know, prior to this game, I feel like they've got a good mindset going in. In fact, the discussion that we had with the coaching staff was, you know, we may give up some points in this game, so our offense has to be ready each and every time to either equal or try and get us ahead and try and keep us ahead. This is their chance to respond to that first touchdown given up. He'll end up getting five out of that, but now they're looking at third down. Play action. Here's Hurts. This is caught by Jackson. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. It's an Eagles first down on a gain of 11. Pretty solid start for the rookie here on this first drive, Charles. Able to have some confidence, step it back into the pocket, move around a little bit, find open receivers, and deliver. That just means his confidence is going to continue to grow because he's getting more and more comfortable with each completed pass. And a nice little start as he's able to get this up to the 28. 12 more yards there and another first down. Well, he's working relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? But first down hurts. And this is caught at the 8. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. First and goal and a chance to get that initial touchdown right back. Hurts sets up to throw it. This is caught. And the Eagles are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. How about the timing on that one? Boy, they were in sync, weren't they? Three-step drop, balls out of his hands, right to the tight end. Nice completion, just like they do it in practice. Good yardage on first down. Now can they punch it in on second and goal? They'll try to run with Sanders. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Miles Sanders taking it in. And the Eagles are within an extra point of tying this thing up. And nothing special there. They show they were going to run the football. They ran it. They got it in. Like old-time football, right? Hey, this is exactly what we're going to do. Straight ahead power, and they got it done. It's up and good, and we're tied at seven here in quarter number two.
Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. This taken in about four yards deep. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. Kansas City taking the field for their second drive. And yeah, they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go around. Now this is Le'Veon Bell with a reception. And yeah, not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. A good rally to the football keeps him to only a yard at its second down. 26 yard line. Working from the gun, Mahomes. Open man is Hill. He's got it. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. A gain of 13. It's a first down. Okay, so now the question, how did he get that wide open? Well, we both know that he shouldn't because from the time they handed out scouting reports before this game, he was circled, starred, everything. Find him, cover him. But sometimes you can scheme a guy open. You put the receivers in a bunch. Maybe you move some motion. Maybe you put them on the backside of a formation, and all of a sudden you've got a better matchup. Every now and then, the offensive guys, they figure a way to get him open, even with everyone keeping eyes on him. And that's certainly a guy they want to keep trying to scheme open. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. And nowhere really to go there. He'll take this up just shy of midfield. Not the kind of gain that will go absolutely crazy for, but it's the kind of gain that you need to have when you're running back in the NFL and Clyde Edwards Alaire with that low center of gravity and strength. He's going to get those tough, gritty yards for you when necessary. Mahomes to throw on third and one. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Target first catch at a first down. And that one was a lot of fun right there because that was the game within the game. Third and short, blitz was on. What's the key for the quarterback? Get out of your hands in a hurry. And that was a quick little completion. Got the job done for a first down. And he's going to be sacked. They sack him back right at the midfield strike. Javon Hargrave, the D tackle, getting the sack. It's second down. up now on a second and 15 following that sack from midfield here's Mahomes complete the tight end Kelsey and he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. Kelsey. It'll go as an impressive 31-yard gain. That is the exact right play call against that defense. So a hat tip to the offensive play caller because he won that part of the chess match. But give credit to his players as well. They won the execution part of it. And he's going to go down. Back at the 27-yard line, he sacked. Fletcher Cox, the former Mississippi State Bulldog, ringing the cowbell there on the sack. Well, the beauty of screen passes is they take a little time to develop, and it can often hit big, but sometimes they take too long to develop, and sometimes you get sacked. Yeah, what's perfectly called for a defense to attack a screen? Typically a blitz, and even though people think that the screen operates against the blitz, if you have the blitz called and you still cover the screen, now that allows your blitzers to get there. seven-yard line now another timeout called for by the offense 
as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. This is caught by Hill for a Chiefs touchdown. Mahomes pass complete. A three-yard touchdown pass. And the Chiefs have taken the lead. And that touchdown gives them a touchdown lead before they attempt the extra point. What a great way to end the half. Yeah, a great job to put themselves in front and now see on the sideline special teams defense scrambling saying we want to preserve this for the final moments of this second quarter and he's got it it's now a 14-7 ball game score chiefs 14 eagles 7. Harrison. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Taken in at the three. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. So back onto the field, here come the Eagles for their second drive. And you have to figure they won't just sit on the football here in the final minute. The way things have gone, they need to try to make something happen offensively. But maybe they should. Maybe they should sit on it here because of what you just said. They haven't made anything happen offensively. Getting ready to go into the half, give them a chance to take a deep breath, exhale a little bit, and start over. I don't know if this is the time to push it myself. Yeah, right now, under 100 yards of total offense. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 26 seconds to go until halftime. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. And this is a spot late in the clock near midfield, though. Maybe take a couple chances, see if you get in field goal range. You do that if you have trust. And this should be a position now where the great ones... And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with 23 seconds to go till halftime. Now following the sack, they'll come up here on a second down and 12. Here's Hurts to throw. Flushed out right. He'll try. Hurts fumbles it. And it's picked up by the Chiefs. Hurts on the keeper. Good starting field position for him as they come up first and 10 at their own 46. Now after the fumble recovery, it's Mahomes. And a gain of four gets him right to the midfield stripe. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. Here's the Kansas City offense now as they get set to take over. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. On second down now, it's Bell. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. So we've reached halftime with the visiting Chiefs on top as we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach! Okay, Coach, appreciate it. A one-touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half. 
And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Out come the Eagles now as he'll go on offense first here in the third quarter. And last time the turnover on the fumble, and they were in enemy territory, so that had to be very frustrating. Down on the scoreboard here, can't do it again. You nailed every part of what was frustrating. <laughs> down on the scoreboard, had a drive going, had pushed it past the 50-yard line. So and the Chiefs are going to get him. The Mississippi State man, Chris Jones, with a sack there. You know, on these types of plays, we're always looking to assess blame. Okay, where did it break down? Sometimes it's just a great play. Now, following the sack, they'll look to make amends on a second down and 17. Sanders toss left side and he'll take this up only to about his 18 yard line they get just a yard back there and now they'll be looking at a tough third and 15 not the start to the drive they were looking for that run doesn't do much at all no not at all and it leaves them with third and long and you know this is the time of game where these drives really really start to matter they've got to make some moves 56. throwing from the gun it's hurts That'll be caught. Rager with it. And he'll take this across the 25 before going out of bounds. They pick up 10, but it'll still lead to a fourth down. Brandon, so many times we see the crossing route start as a quick hitter, but in this play, he had time in the pocket and waited for him to clear going across. Here's Cameron Johnston now. And surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. Hardman on the return. They'll net only 35 here following a 43-yard boot, 8-yard return, and it's Chiefs football, first and 10. So here's the Chiefs offense ready for their first reps in half number two. They were able to get the ball back here, didn't surrender any points. Now they'll look to add to that lead. Now how about the boost the defense gave them? Going right out on the field, shutting them down, not giving up any points, and turning the ball back over. They want to do their part now and show them a little respect and some gratitude <laughs> by scoring some points. And to get a little more cushion. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz scheme and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle, it doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. Brandon, we just saw the benefits of being able to run the ball successfully. They pick up four yards on that carry. So now if you're a play caller, you can do just about anything you want, but on the defensive side of the ball, you scramble a little bit. Now you're behind trying to figure out, do I need to blitz him? Do I need to pressure him? How do I gain an advantage on this snap? 22 yards there, a first down. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of, until they stop him, why not go back to him? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. They fake the give. Now Mahomes escaping the pressure right. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. Now, that was not a bad scramble there on first down. He didn't force it, nor did he throw it away. He was able to take off, and now he made it a very manageable second and short. Ahead of the chains now, second and two. Now here's Mahomes. And he almost had it defensively. Could have been a game changer there in this second half. Instead, it's third down. He's lucky to be getting that one back. After what they've done with him all day long with all the targets trying to go after him, he's obviously gotten smart, and his pride has kicked in. Made a terrific play. After the incompletion here now, third and two. They'll try and run for it with Bell. And he'll have the first down, getting this one to the 14-yard line. Five yards is the pickup there as that extends this drive. On third down, that's a good job of situational football and understanding where the first down marker was and getting there. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. 
Mahomes going to throw. And he will take it on in for a Chiefs touchdown. Mahomes finding Tyreek Hill. And the Chiefs add on to their lead. Always important to get the first score of the second half. Now you start to pull away a little bit and get some breathing room going. And now we find out about the fortitude of the group that's behind because they were counting on getting into the game a little bit more, right? Maybe they get the first score. That doesn't happen. It looks almost insurmountable, but it's not. Let's see how hard they play the rest of the game. Extra point right down the middle. And it's now 21-7. to Harrison Butker. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Fielded near the back of the end zone. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. Philadelphia's offense ready to give us another look. And here we are almost through three quarters of play. And this passing game still has not really found any kind of rhythm. Put it mildly because they're not even over 100 yards yet. And in today's NFL where it's a pass first league. That is quite surprising. Not many teams patient enough to stick with the run. Everybody wants to advance the ball through the air. They've got to get their timing back. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. First play of the drive going for 14 and also going for a first down. And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and ten. As Sanders has it poked free. And it's picked up by the Chiefs. And this return is going to be halted right around the 28-yard line. Recovered by Kansas City. Mahomes now on first down. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. To Travis, Travis Kelsey, Kelsey. 28 Kansas yards. City. And the Chiefs use the short field to their advantage as they cash in for six. And what a weapon he is at the tight end spot because when they throw him the football downfield, they count on him getting additional yardage almost every time. And that's exactly what he did there. Caught that. Ran it with it good. all the way to the end zone. Makes the the extra point splits the uprights and the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. Harrison Butker. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And that's fielded on the back line of the end zone. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. Philadelphia getting set to take the field. And last time, not only the turnover, but that turned into six points. They got to make up for that here. We always hear about empty possessions. But some are worse than others. You can have an empty possession, pump the ball away, get yourself set to play defense. But when you turn it over, it changes momentum. And when they take it downfield and punch it in on you, that's a bad possession all the way around. Yeah, but you're hungry to get back out there, aren't you? You better be, because otherwise, it's going to be a long day for you. This run defense has been pretty stout all game long. Now you're here in the fourth quarter. Should rely more on the passing attack? I don't think you have any choice, and I don't think you have to dress it up at all either. Throughout the first three quarters, you're still trying to convince the defense that you may run the football. That's out the window right now. Protect, let your quarterback operate, and try and find some targets in the open field downfield. 
Uh, here's a throw right side taken in by his tight end. So they'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. When you execute a drag or a crossing route really well and give them a chance to let it develop a little bit, you can gain some significant yardage hitting your tight end on that one. Now on third down, an extra DB out there for the Chiefs. Hurts. This short throw caught by Goddard. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. Philadelphia picking up the first on a gain of 15. But this game was decided a while ago, and that completion there is going to artificially inflate his passing numbers. So right now, the only one really applauding probably his agent as he thinks about angling for a new contract. They'll throw on first down with Hertz. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. Seven yards there on the first down screen play. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. He's got a first down and more inside the 30. And down to the 27-yard line. That one good for a first down pickup of 18 yards. And that was good protection there. No, that was great protection there because it allowed him to lock in on his receiver. Although I think he was looking for his tight end on the corner route all the way. Nice connection there for a really nice gain. On first and 10, it's Hurts. He'll buy some time right. He's going to take off with it. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. I guess no need to force it when you can do that instead. First down, 18-yard gain. We've seen the pressure get to him several times in this game. There, though, we see him escape it. And we've seen this rookie video before as well. That type of pressure, oftentimes, what do you resort to? Your legs try and escape. What you hope is that this doesn't become habit for him, that he learns how to handle the pressure, still keep his eyes downfield, and make some throws. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. He was looking for Miles Sanders out of the backfield, but it'll be second and goal. draw here's Sanders and he's able to get it down to the two yard line a nice run there as he picks up six it's going to be third and goal now this is kind of one of those in between plays here Charles on third and goal from the two or the three in that area what do you dial up something quick hitting you don't have the time for something that develops slowly it's got to be right at them if you're going to run the football if you're going to throw it something quick and he's in touchdown Eagles Miles Sanders his second touchdown of the afternoon and the Eagles get a score closer but he decided to run it in and got it done on third and goal a lot of times that's a passing play and the kicker this has to come out for the PAT he can breathe a sigh of relief as well right although I don't know if he's really breathing a sigh of relief I think he likes to put three points on his ledger Elliott good with a PAT and that cuts the lead to 28 14. Two scores down, three timeouts left. Still a chance if they can somehow get this one back. And the Chiefs are going to make the recovery. And that's why you have your hands team out there on the field. Those are the best guys ready to make that play. 
And let's face it, it was executed well. It wasn't a bad kick. It wasn't anything like that. Just that the normal outcome actually came to play. Analytics would tell you it's a very low possibility of getting the ball for the team kicking it in an onside kick situation. You're all about the numbers, aren't all you? All about the numbers, baby. It's a new game now. They don't lie. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves them with two to go on second down. He's brought down at the 39-yard line. Eight yards on the pickup. Brings up second and two. There we go. Nice play, baby. Only needing two yards on second down. Again, it's Bell. And he stopped after a gain of one. Not enough. Still a yard to go on third down. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ballgame. Now this is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. They'll go again with Bell. And he's got the first, but we also have a flag on the field. And they're already walking backwards. That's on Coleccio Semele, the guard. And the line to gain here is the 37 on third down. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. To the right side, it's Kelsey. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. They get only four that time as that leads us to a fourth down. I'm wondering if the same thing went through your mind as mine. When I see a big man like that make a catch, all I keep thinking to myself is, big man with football, look out, everyone. He may not juke you a whole lot, right? He may not run past you because of his size. You're talking about a guy weighing in the 270 range. But, boy, once he gets his mitts on the ball, he's going to be tough to bring down. Hurts and the Eagles now. Down by two touchdowns. Just over a minute, 40 to play. Field goals, useless at this point. They need two touchdowns, and they need them in short order. Throwing his hurts. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. Alshon Jeffrey, the intended receiver. But it's going to be second down. That was a nice job defensively of disguising their coverage and making it difficult for the quarterback to lock in on a receiver. And it results in an incomplete pass. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. incomplete and once more he was looking for Alshon Jeffrey and it's third down well so far in this drive they've done some good work they force incompletions on first and second down bring up third and ten that brings up the big question do they bring pressure or do they play coverage on this down now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions he's gonna let it fly and this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off by the Honey Badger, Tyron Matthew. And his guys will set up shop at midfield at the 50-yard line. And that's the play that picked by Matthew that will seal this football game. The Honey Badger does it again. And I think one of the best nicknames that's ever been given. Just so inspired. He may not care, as Honey Badgers don't but he understands how to get around the ball, and he just sealed another victory. How do you know about the mental psyche of a honey badger? That's always been the expression. The honey badger, he doesn't care. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. Come on. 
After the penalty, it's Bell. And he's going to get this inside the 30. The Eagles will take their third and final timeout. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. Victory in the cards now for the Chiefs as they take a knee here. down to a knee and that should just about write a finish to this one yeah it's fun to kneel down in front of your home crowd but when you go on the road that band of brothers attitude right just us against the world and get it done <laughs> how happy are they i remember a coach at a previous stop telling me you get a win on the road doesn't matter the opponent get out of there like you stole something and they <laughs> they did in this one <laughs> So this one in the win column for Kansas City. And even playing on the road, the class of this ball club, just too much to overcome. Yeah, deep down, I think even the fans knew how this one was going to turn out. All right, they, they just came to support their team, hope they'd see some good football, and they did. But they didn't really expect their team to win. In fact, they probably came in and said, let's win the tailgate. Because that, <laughs> that's where we have the advantage, and I bet they did that. For us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew, I'm Brandon Gaughan. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. With that, we say so long from Philly.